So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 19th React Native tutorial in which we're gonna very quickly take a look at a very better file structure with React Native which I, at least I follow in my apps and I believe you could follow as well because it kind of keeps you sane and uh, organized. So let's get started. Let's see what we have right here. So okay so right now I guess I have built the wrong app right here it should be actually yep um, I believe YouTube react native and uh, hello world let's just build that so anyway let me just show you this is the app which I was working I guess a couple of months ago for code Dan. it's not really live yet and I'm not really actively working on it as well right now I'm basically working on the main platform for the code dam um, right now so you should be able to um, at least use it in a couple of months I believe and it's kind of cool so at least I believe as a developer so I would uh, surely want to use that I'm just rolling out a quick survey as well these days so if you're interested you can fill that but anyways so um, here is some problem okay so javascript version is this 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 dun, dun, dun. okay anyways so we do not really need react right now also so let me just get uh how the heck do you separate screens yep so anyways we do not need our app right now so what we have right here is you can see that in a single file we have kind of cluttered everything it kind of looks um, readable it's okay I believe but the app was just a single page app and uh, it was kind of small application to begin with our last application the calculator one so what we eventually want is that when we when we create bigger applications one of the most things um, most important things you need to you know keep a track of from the start is how you lay down your files because if you do that wrong in initially then um, you kind of struggle big time in the long run so what I follow is like um, it's kind of a common pattern so just create an app folder so this is the folder which contains all the common code and by common code I mean the code which would be shared by iOS and Android together so um, since I'll be mostly using Android so it does not really matter but inside app things would go like um, components or you can just keep it small components and then you can create if you are using like Redux which I am using um, in the code dam application and on the web as well it's kind of cool so um, you can create another folder like Redux here and then inside that folder reducers actions and all that stuff then you might be able to create something like assets here um, where you just place um, your images or fonts or whatever custom things you want right um, another thing which I could think of right now which could go basically in your app folder is uh, um, not really anything but what you need to understand from here is just that you can just customize on a very high order basis here the stuff you want right so for example components could contain components like header for your application right and one more quick fact start your components with a capital file not the folder but actual component right you see all the components start with a capital letter every component because the small components are actually rendered as uh, I'm not sure about that but I believe it, they are rendered as they were they were used to render as HTML elements you cannot use small um, letters with your custom components right so that's a quick fact so for the header what you need to do is just create your index.js here and you would need something like this and this is a magical snippet I'll just share the code of this so what it does let me just do it in slow-mo I wrote R and C and hit tab and if you're using VS Code you would probably not be able to replicate this unless what you have is something like um, if you go to code 
preferences and user snippets and you just select JavaScript I believe where is it there you go you see that I've added a custom um, you know snippet here which triggers this component creation I can leave that um, link in the description if you want so you just need to copy paste in this and you would be able to create um, your component here it's trust me it's super handy it's super super handy when you're starting off by creating a react native application because you would be creating components all the time initially just initially and in that case it comes really handy it saves you a lot of time so you can just write your component name and you're good to go anyways so when we do like rnc i do header here and uh, actually this should be i'm not sure why i put that right that is fine so we can just remove that as well so header extends component and the next thing we have is like we can just write stuff like hey there so there we have our independent and standalone component right on a similar way for example we can just create an index.js file here which is kind of the main component so you can again create a component like app or like main component whatever you want to call it right and basically just include all of your stuff stuff right here like you can import header from like that and then this main component could be rendered by your app.js app file or even by your index.js file right but just keep it like that only I'll just recommend that so yeah that's basic um, way of creating a file structure and we're gonna follow the structure all along our tutorials so yeah that's all for this I believe and from the next tutorial onwards we're gonna take a look at some more native stuff of Android and probably iOS side as well I don't really work that much with iOS so I don't have a lot idea a lot of ideas in that I just um, you know worked a bit with Swift earlier not really that much but mostly I'm just inclined uh, towards Android only so yeah that's majorly what we're gonna cover basic Android stuff of react native and uh, we're gonna see along with that how it goes so yeah that's all for this one and I'll see you then in the next video